Hi, in this video, I'll be testing a 12 volt, 50 amp combination circuit breaker, voltmeter, and ammeter using a 12 volt, 36 pound thrust Newport Vessels transom trolling motor. Now, I have tested this motor in the past, so I know what the approximate value should be. And I will also list the product in the narrative section of this video. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the unit as it comes shipped, and you can see it's relatively small in size. So let me move this out of here, and it's got the voltage readout, the amp readout, and your 50 amp circuit breaker right here. And this right here, the red, is going to go to the positive of your battery, and this little black here it's going to go to the negative of your battery and I'm going to end up changing this connector right here because it's a little too small and then it's kind of misleading but this is the other positive end that's going to go to your load so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that with a little piece of red shrink fit tubing just so I know that it's actually a positive lead this is my test setup. I have the Newport Vessels 12 volt, 36 pound thrust trolling motor in the water tank there on the left hand side. And then I have my 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery there. And right in front of the battery, I have the combination of the circuit breaker, voltage and amp meter. All the connections are made for the testing. And I apologize for the wiring, but I didn't want to cut anything until I actually mounted on a kayak. So on this side, you have the output going to the positive terminal of the battery over here. And then you also have the negative wire going to the negative terminal. Then over here, you have the positive wire, which I designated with a piece of red shrink fit tubing that's going to go to the load the positive end of the load which is the trolling motor then the trolling motor negative is connected to the negative terminal of this battery so what I'm gonna do is turn everything on and then I'll go through speeds 1 through 5 and read off the amps and the voltage for each speed setting Okay, so now that everything's all hooked up, I have the circuit breaker turned on, and I've got a reading of 13.3 volts at 0 amps. And I'm going to go through each speed and call off the voltage and the amps. So I'm going to start at speed 1. And I have a reading of 13.2 volts and about 8 amps. Speed 2. Reading of 13.2 volts and about 11 amps. Speed 3. Thirteen point one volts at seventeen amps. Speed four. Thirteen point one volts at approximately nineteen amps. Speed five. 12.8 volts at approximately 32 amps. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and trip the circuit breaker like something happened out on the water. And everything cuts off like it should. After completing the test, this combination circuit breaker, voltmeter, and ammeter worked as it should. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.